The winters of my childhood were long, long seasons. We lived in three places. The school, the church, and the rink. But our real life was on the skating rink. Real battles were won on the skating rink. Real strength appeared on the skating rink. The real leaders showed themselves on the skating rink. We were some halves, taken away from other halves. We were a bunch of players, all of us wearing the great, great uniform of the Montreal Canadiens. One day, my Montreal Canadiens sweater had become too small. It got torn and had holes in it. Oh, shoot. Jackie. If you wear this sweater, people are going to think we're poor. What? Then she did what she did whenever we needed new clothes. That day, I had one of my greatest disappointments of my life. Oh my god. Instead of the red, white, blue Montreal Canadian sweater, we received a blue and white sweater with a maple leaf on the front. The sweater of the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'd always worn the red, white, and blue Montreal Canadian sweater. All my friends wore the red, white, and blue sweater. Never had anyone in my village ever worn the Toronto sweater. With tears in my eyes, I found the strength to say, I didn't want this one! Jesus. But, you're wearing it. I was obliged to wear the Maple Leaf sweater. When I arrived on the rink, all the halves in red, white, and blue took a look at me. The referee blew his whistle. The maple leaf sweater weighed on my shoulders like a mountain. Son, I need you later on defense. By the third period, I still hadn't played. One of the defense men was hit in the nose with a stick, and he was bleeding. I jumped on the ice. gave me a penalty. It was too much. It was unfair. It was persecution. It was because of my blue sweater. I was done. Wearing my maple leaf sweater, I went to the church where I prayed to God. I asked him to send as quickly as possible moths that would eat up my Toronto maple leaf sweater. 